Greetings everyone and welcome to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. It's great to have each and every one of you here. Oh my goodness. So let's get some channel messages from your person. What's going on? This may not even be your person. This may be a crush. Someone that may have ended at the talking phase. You know, it may have ended before you even started. Or this may be someone that you're in a relationship with and you just want to know, you know, what's the status. So I'm going to speak uh, with three scenarios each with each card. So I'm not going to go into so much details. I'm going to try my best to keep it really simple. I don't know. I just felt the need to do it that way today. I do know my deck is upside down. It just feels better to shuffle that way. All right. So in this card, this spread, I'm getting the energy of uh, feeling very sexy. Somebody's feeling very sexy. They may be very turned on right now by you, uh, by life itself. You know, they could be doing really good for uh, the uncertainty times that we're in right now. And this is kind of like turning up their sacral chakra. They may be manifesting, creating things, really moving. And they're getting turned on by it. So they may be feeling really good about themselves, really feeling sexy. All right, let's see. This could also be your energy. Take it how it resonates, you guys. So what I'm... Okay, so what I'm saying, what I'm feeling is... Um, there may be unexpected dangers around this person, around you. What's going on with this person? Well, they feel like it's unexpected dangers around the connection or the situation involves the both of you. We have gut instincts. So trust your gut instincts on what's going on with uh, what this person is telling you. I feel like you're sensing uh, something deeper. Uh, that you may not be able to put your thumb on or your finger pinpointed, but you need to trust your intuition. Trust what your your body is trying to communicate with you. I feel like there's a lot of worry, but somebody's ego is not letting them... Uh, how do you say that? Somebody's ego is not letting them... Uh, pay attention to what they're worrying about here. So if you're worried about this person, trust your intuition about it. I feel like your ego may be stopping you from trusting your gut instinct or you feel like being reasonable instead of trusting your intuition. So just be careful there, right? So let's see. We have sound. So again, listen, listen, listen to what your body is, is trying to point out to you. Maybe your anxieties flare up with this person or you feel very anxious or there's some type of resistance here. And you need to look deeper on why you feel that way towards this person, because it could be that your body is trying to stop you from going further with a person here and you're not picking that up. So that's what I felt like hidden danger was around and you may need to pay attention. Your ego may be uh, trying to disguise something here because it feels familiar <clears throat> or it feels like what you desire. But some type of hidden danger may be surrounding the situation with you and this person. I heard the name Miguel. <clears throat> threes or 13 3 13 or just 13 all right so let's see what's going on with this person <laughs> mm. what's going on with this person so we have choice so you know and love. All right. So love is the overall energy. This person may be very playful or they love the playful energy uh, between the both of you. You may be thinking this person is some type of companion. We have personal boundaries. So even though there's love present, there's still a need to have these very healthy personal boundaries with this person. We have choice popping up twice. Ultimately, the choice is yours. We all have free will. But there's consequences either way you go. So uh, I feel like 
what's going on with this person is that they have a very um, heavy choice or important choice that they need to make, but they may be in an entanglement or they may be tangled up in a situation that's kind of like pulling them back from actually going on a different path or choosing a path here. That could be between both of y'all or with someone else or a, a situation in their life. They have two choices that they need to make and love, you know, and personal boundaries may be two um, blocks here, wedges, or it could be two factors that's needed. Someone really needs to be authentic with what they need and what they don't need or their wants and what they don't want. Hey, I feel like there's a, a possible companionship between these two people that I'm picking up. It could be you and this person or them and someone else. It feels like a third party situation. It doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could be that they have a choice to have different opportunities elsewhere. Like say for instance, you may be an, um, a choice to go on with love, a love relationship or being partners. And then they have another choice where they could uh, travel the world or work in a different state. So, you know, we all have different um decisions and choices to make here but something from the past or they may be uh caught up in an another situation that's kind of like having resistance here i feel the need to say that this person is really trying their best to see which is the best uh path for them this person could even want to move forward towards you but they're on they don't know where you live at they don't know which route to take or how to move forward to show this caring side or to share with you some energy that they would like to share. It's like a lost love or it feels like no, lo no love lost type of uh, situation. Their soul knows where to go. But their mind is trying to look for a sign or it's like they don't want to trust their soul's intuition. They rather see. They rather see the tangibles. They rather see the directions instead of following their heart or their soul. Maybe they don't have the courage to change or they're looking for step by step a playbook. To, to do that all right some people need a playbook to actually do that but i ultimately feel like there's a kindness between the both of you this person at one time may have the sharing and receiving energy between the both of you very playful could have been very fun companionship here somebody's love is going to find you or your your love is going to find them or they're trying to find your love they're trying to get back to you, but it's like, I don't know the way. I don't know where you live at. <laughs> Shoot me that address. All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah. It could be past resentments that's holding this person back as well. You know, not wanting to take the risk. They may have took risks with other people and it's like, nah. But then, yeah, my soul is pushing me. My instincts, they, they know what to do, but connection yeah <laughs> and we have inner peace so we have love and inner peace interesting energy so hmm saturn rings i don't know why i heard that but she yeah so one path may be about work and career and the other path may be this loving connection that this person may share with you this person may feel like there's a lot of hidden dangers on the path to love all right and they just want inner peace they just want to um things to fit and i feel like this is why they're looking for direct directions or very precise directions on which way to go because they want everything to fit all right they want that inner peace they want to be able to be happy with themselves and the choice that they made so this person may feel like this is some type of spiritual connection. You guys may bond through music as well, or you may have musical notes.
tattooed somewhere on musical notes is very significant here. I feel like they want to wine and dine you. Like, they want to find out where you live at. Where you live? Where we, where we eat? Where we gonna eat at? <laughs> yeah, they want this love to bloom out of playfulness. They want to dance with you. They want to have fun. You know, they want to let loose with you. Not care about time. They want you to know that you're, you're enough or occupation. Yeah, I did say that, right? One path is about careers and, and jobs, hey. All right? And they have to really be, they're careful about what work and career. This person may work really hard or they have a skill that um, they have to really pull, push the time in and energy in. They may have a lot of creative ideas about their job. It may be very uh, artistic or a craftsman or it's like homemade things. No. Something about measurements. So whatever their occupations involve, uh, it has measurements, precise measurements or directions. I don't know why I keep getting that. Interesting. So, you know, this person may be a sun person or they like warm seasons. There's a lot of growth, a lot of illumination, happiness, love. The sun to me could talk about love as well and growth. Very interesting. Let me see that. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this could be a new friend or they feel like you're a friend to, to them. Oh, okay. So they want to feel alive with the sun. There is some type of inner fire. Hey, both, both past path or choices, uh, makes them feel alive. And this is why it's hard <laughs> to decide which way to go. But you know, this person feels overall in peace or they're looking to strive for inner peace, feeling alive, that inner fire. So you, they may love you, but they have another path that they may want to go on that involves something that they love as well. This person may be big on things that make them feel good. So let's see. So this person may be a workaholic. They really love their job or what they're doing. They would spend hours on it. They're very good at it. It's very tedious, so it pulls a lot of their energy. So it's very crafty or something very old school or antique-ish. Something that's not available as it used to before. What is the connecting card between connection and choice? This is a soul connection. Wow, okay. All right, so there's a final decision with a judification, judication card. Oh my gosh. So there's going to be a final decision here with these two choices. I feel like this person is going to go with their heart leads them. They have the, they have a lot of, um, oh, they analyzed the situation for a very long time. They may be very wise or they're very, um, experienced. Hey, you know, but there's a final decision. What the what? Yes. They may have had a lot of regrets because of the decisions in the past that's holding them back or they're being very cautious, but they're fighting it. It's like their soul, their intuition. We saw that with the gut instinct. It's summoning them. It's pulling them, right? But regrets or decisions that they have regrets for in the past, maybe kind of they're fighting it. And this choice that they want to make is for long term. But it's things are not clear cut as this person thought or was hoping. Hey, so this is making it a little bit um, difficult. We have expectations. Oh, my word. So this person may have unrealistic expectations about love. And this could be making it difficult. For them to decide here, to make this final decision. <laughs> some of, they could be also tied to, they could also be tied to some type of um, 
legal situation as well tied to some type of responsibility because of some regret in the past they may be what do you call those people that um can't leave the state they may be onto some type of legal uh or probation they may be under probation and this is limiting them uh the opportunity to come forward because you may be out of state they can't find you so for them to travel or move around something about probation is stopping this person from uh having the courage to change or free will him you know their past decision part of these regrets could be lawsuits could be consequences with the laws yeah they had some type of consequence hey so it's consequence versus connection expectation so you may be waiting for them or you may have some cer certain type of expectations when it comes to love and this is kind of playing into the situation with this person finally making a decision here let's see what goes on next we're gonna bust down the tarot uh another thing could be that this person may be legally separated or they're still working out the uh iron out some kinks here with a divorce Something was legal, hey, from the past. It's like the past is still interfering with this person's uh, decision making, hey. But there's a final decision or there's a final decision coming up, hey. This person may be just waiting for that to uh, tie up so they could move forward. I don't know. There's hidden danger, hey. Maybe this person wants to escape without uh, legally completing something or finishing something here. And that may have a consequence. We have three of swords wanting to show here. So, you know, this could be a lot of disappointments that kind of hurt this person from moving forward, kind of clouded their judgment. They could have a lot of trust issues from past decisions, a lot of regrets. But I feel like this person wants to heal that or they know by moving on or moving forward is going to heal this three of swords energy. Uh, they could have told you something in the past that kind of like shattered your expectations with them. So you may already be feeling the love and be ready to do something. You may be at a point in your life where you're ready to make uh, really sound decisions and this person may not be. This is maybe something that they're not telling you. I feel like what they want to tell you as well is to find inner peace. You deserve what you expect. But they're having difficulties or courage actually making this change. And they know this final decision is going to bring a lot of changes. But they feel it or they vision these changes. They could be, you know, really wanting to share a lot of intimate uh, details with you about how they feel about this connection you know this could be actually fueling their courage to actually make firm or final decision here about a situation that they regret as well whoa so their expectations of love may be very different from you but it's like i feel like they're ready to explore the differences here and you know expand this inner peace you are enough you know you need to know that you are enough and they feel like you are worth it some of you may be 24 to 28 we have 24 to 30 17 to 30 age groups may be here as well doesn't have to be let's bust down this tarot yes justice again listen this person act either have legal obligations or there's a settlement that needs to be done they're going to court or their court date has been pushed back and this is holding them back they're needing a last uh decision made so they could know how to plan their life or move forward with their life it could involve someone else that they had a relationship with or this is business um I'm also getting the need to say that things are not as clear cut as this person thought it would have been. So something may be taking, uh, taking longer than they expected, but there's a need for balance hey, and the truth. All right. So they may be going through a situation where 
um, they need to testify or there's some type of truth evidence that they need to they could even have some type of identity crisis and they have to like get that squared away some of you this person could be in the justice system this could be a lawyer this could be someone that needs to lawyer lawyer up or they they need lawyers assistance this could be a legal aid as well. You may work in that field. But it's like someone knows what they want and the other person has that vision, but they have some things that they need to map up in. With the justice card, one in truth, one in justice, or there's a need to find out more information. This person needs precise direction in order to like vote forward. Their soul is telling them one thing, their gut instinct, they sense in something here, but they need some type of precise or more information to make a final decision. So you know what that is. You, you're in your real time. I'm just uh, reading the cards here. Maybe something to do with a Libra or there's a need for fairness and balance. So this person could make a final decision here. King of Swords, this person is definitely in their mind. They could be fantasizing or just contemplating. Um, they could be up for a challenge too, or they may have had to fight something that was ongoing here with the court system. I feel like it's legal documents as well. So this may be a passport. No, I don't think it's a passport. It's a settlement uh, that they may have with an air sign, or they may be an air sign, or they may be just like really thinking about this shit ready to let things go here. I feel like they worry about this a lot. Like whatever this is. Ooh. For some of you, this person wants to make some kind of legal commitment with you and they're trying to come up with two different ways or they're indecisive on how they're going to change things around to fit you in their life or to fit love in their life. A lot of truth that means somebody needs a lot of information. Hey, all right, so we have the Hierophant. Many of you know the Hierophant could talk about a legal marriage, especially when it's paired with the justice card. So, a legal marriage may be involved, or this person wants legal commitment, a legal marriage with you. They're not quite sure how they're going to fit or do this. They may have prior uh, commitments that they're deeply uh, in, or it's very solid at this time. And they're trying to figure out, like, how are they going to bring balance in their life with love or your expectations of this love connection, this soul connection. So, you know, with the Hierophant energy, this could be a Taurus as well, if I didn't mention that. The Hierophant has been showing up frequently. So this person is trying to be very serious about their commitment for some of you or they're uh, into some type of boy girl group they may be part of some type of institution or in their community you know very involved heavily involved in the community they may have occupations or work that's heavily involved in their community and they're like really indecisive on how they're going to make love work this is very interesting so yeah with the hierophant energy this person could be very experienced Hmm. I'm picking up more with the Hierophant, but I'm not too sure what the hell am I picking up here. So this person may have very traditional values about love. You may have your expectations and it's like, how are we going to balance this out? I need more information or I need to know more truth about love. This person may be very religious for some of you or very unorthodox <laughs> with the Hierophant. You know, something maybe have been passed down or that's what's holding this person back from moving full force. They have a lot of beliefs, very strong beliefs here. But it's like, I need more information. So even though they have very strong beliefs, it's like they're still open don't worry about the candle, you guys. It's like they're still very open to hear what you have to say or hear what needs to be. Or it's very, they're very open to new information. They could be flexible uh, when they need to. 
So it's like when they learn something, it's like they add that wisdom to their beliefs. It's like whatever they have, whatever they believe in, they feel like it's not necessary. They're very flexible to more information. Yeah, I feel like it's like society norms with what my instincts tell me about love. So again, having to make that final decision, they may be seeking some type of counsel as well. Or this could be marriage uh, therapy. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> somebody's up for the challenge again with the nine of wands. They're very guarded, though. They don't want to get hurt, but it's like, I want to, I'm up for the challenge. So this person may have, uh, had a messy emotional divorce, but with you, it's a connection they feel. And it's like, I'm still up for the challenge. I still have some strength I could fight, but I need more information. Seven of Pentacles. What could I do to change the situation? Or they may be admiring, uh, I don't know what they're admiring here. They're admiring some type of goal that they had or things that they uh, triumph over. Hmm. So this person may have like a lot of awards or they may have certificates of some sort. Very brainy person. So whatever they, they do, it's out of love could be. So they only concentrate on things that they love or have love for. They get very deeply, they get very solid and committed in things that they love. You know, once they make that decision, that's it. It's final. Forget about it. Energy, you can't tell me nothing. I have the information. I researched it. So this person may be very analytical. They may be just wanting facts. This may be your energy as well. We have the nine of pentacles, the nine of wands. This could talk about the wounded warrior learning from past mistakes still very guarded or they're preparing themselves. Hey, excuse me. They're preparing themselves. Hey, admiring what has, what have, what have, what they have thus far and preparing, improvising, improving. It's some type of preparing hey, that they're doing. Ooh, we have the devil. <laughs> King of pentacles. So we have a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy going on. Strong Capricorn and Taurus energy. This person wants stability. They prepare a lot, actually. Yeah, but they may be holding on to very dark thoughts or they're holding on to unhealthy beliefs. Could be society's norm, and this is something that they have to make a final decision on. They may be considering your expectations of this connection, of love between the both of you. But this person just wants peace. They want, they just want to be calm. They want to have fun, but they also want to be prepared. All right. They want to really be prepared. They may have had a lot of surrendering, a lot of healing. We see surrendering here with the Hierophant as well that they needed to go through. They may have changed their diet. So this person may be slowly changing from a lot of conformities that they're now seeing. They may have had time to really uh, recover from an addiction or they had time to release some limiting beliefs uh, that was contributing to destructive habits or behavior with the King of Pentacles. This person is all about stability for their family. And like I said, once they make a decision, it's final. I feel like whatever this person do, it comes from love or that's their new um, decision that they're having to move forward. But there's a lot of worry in here because there's missing information about something they maybe feel very drawn or very obsessive about commitments as well. So, you know, when you're prepared and committed, they fall even more for you. They may feel like, Oh, they're comparing your love expectation or their own love expectation with society norms or uh, traditions, values that may have been passed down to them. They have an opportunity to escape here, but their ego, uh, their ego may have something to do with why they're a bond. Okay, so they may have issues with being a control freak in some type of way here as well. My way or the highway, you know, final decision, that's it, that's it, forget about it. 
They could also be looking at what they have thus far and interested in more available knowledge on how to prepare. They're preparing ab to, about something. They could even be looking into a lot of um, evil restrictions or limitation that these conformities or even a marriage they could have been married to a karmic person and it was very messy uh but again final decisions are here so you know when this final decision is made they may need to look at what they now have so it's like an end of something that was very messy or karmic or dark or very codependent on and now having to look at what they have what needs to be improved what could be done what needs to be thrown out but this person is very worried or they're very cautious about this love between the both of you or going down this path because they, they may be very damaged or they're still hurt from the truth about a, a old situation <coughs> But it's like building the strength to be responsible head on. Something weird. Let me see if I could get a connecting card because it feels very weird here. With the king of swords. This person could be very hasty or they tend to feel like they know it all or better than some people here. This could be somebody that they were dealing with. This could be something that they see you as. They're worried. This person could be losing sleep. Some, it's like constantly on their mind. They're not sleeping well or they're not sleeping enough. We have the Knight of Cups. So with the Knight of Cups, they may want to offer something very romantic, but they know they have to come out of their comfort zone. They may have suffered uh, a lawsuit head. They may have been sued. They may have some legal um, debts that they had to pay. And they're looking at what they have left back, the balance, the total, uh, trying to prepare or trying to, um, trying to prepare. It's like they're trying to protect themselves from another loss like this. But there's growth here. They had to let go of a lot. They had to fight some silent battles, some things you may not know about court. They had to let go of some things that they may have worked really hard for. They may have had to give it over. This could be child support as well. Looking at the amount that they have left from child support or from being docked. Something to that effect. Could even be education debts as well. Financial debts. With the King of Cu uh, Knight of Cups, it's like, very romantic. This person wants to follow their heart, but doing so uh, is a risk of loss. It's like a gamble. Again, this king of pentacles, they're very secure in this love. Or they want to be uh, reliable in your expectations of love. But they may be finding something very religious that has a limit or restricted beliefs. Could be different cultural backgrounds here as well. You guys wasn't raised on the same values and they're trying to find out more information on how this could work. There's, there's a need to talk to an, uh, a lawyer or a, a counselor or a family counselor. I feel like there's a family counselor involved. There's a lawyer. There's a judge. This could also be the divine courts here as well. Queen of Cups. Hmm. So, again, with the Queen of Cups, this could be the Queen of Cups that's sitting in the expectation card. This person may be full of love, you know, very intuitive. This could also be your person really taking a deeper look into their feelings here. Hey? You guys could have been separated uh, or things could have broken down with the both of you, but the connection is somebody still missing this connection. They still have expectations of this connection, wanting to receive her. What's fair? What's what's due to me? Type of energy. Hmm. We also have light codes seven one seven. If you want to look that up, it's fine. May have additional details for you in your situation. There's some codependency on a, a, a value here. And this person is like really taking a good look at that.
in a more detached way. All right, so somebody may be looking at their beliefs from a detached point of view, trying to make a final decision here. Or there was a final decision that was made, something that you may not know about, and this person is like revising or reviewing what they have, what they need to let go, what they need to take out, take out the trash here. What's not working anymore, this person wants to take the trash out. What's limiting them, what they feel like is temptation. Knight of Swords. So there's a lot of movement going on with the Knights as well. This person may want to take charge. I feel like there's a, con a control freak here as well. This person wants to now take charge or they feel like they have enough or after some type of review of what they have, they now feel like they have the strength to take charge here. Eh? Be aggressive. I want to see the connecting card between King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, please. What is this? What is this about? I feel like they, they have to work more. They feel like they need to work more. We have the King of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. So they may want to be more mature in the way that they communicate. So we have the King of Swords twice, you guys. So this person with the three of pentacles. So they may make a decision to work with you. All right. I feel like they want to partner up. It feels like they need your assistance or they need more information from you to get this together. This person may be very passionate or they feel like they have the tools to grow more. They may feel like you guys are a, a power couple, power couple. You're very, um, they're very lusty towards you. They may be very obsessed about a commitment with you for some of you. Ooh, yeah. I feel like with this devil energy, they may be obsessed with wanting to have sex with you or be more solid in routine. The King of Pentacles and the Hierophant, it's a lot of routine. This person likes routine, all right? And they're not playing with, um, they're not playing around with this King of Swords. The both of you may be in this King of Swords energy too where you have very strong beliefs and you're sticking with it as well. You're very like, yeah, this is where it's at. <laughs> This is what I want. And this person is like, this is what I want. But it's like a need to work together or to be flexible, to come to a reasonable compromise with this love. Because this person, even though they have their own strong beliefs and their own routine, they're, they're willing to be flexible here, really. This person may be very cold or they're very dry uh, with their communication. It may be very on point. They may have reason, reason skills that they have or they want to use that reason skills on you to reason out some things here about your own expectation. This person has made a head over heart decision though with the double king of swords to be more mature. Maybe in the past they were not um, solid, standing on solid ground to, to come through with this, but they could have been very greedy in the past or they were dealing with someone that was very greedy that they had to sever ties with, with the adjudication card. It, it was judgment somehow. Judgment was passed, final decisions. They have the power and the strength here with the nine of wands and the double king of swords. They may have been hurt in the past, maybe, you know, that's something that they often think about, but they have a lot of power and stre uh, strength this person has integrity as well. With the three of pentacles, this may have been a third party situation. And they had to really detach. Whatever this third party was, it was attached to the, some type of outdated value that was very limited when, with, or very codependent with the devil card. This person is very judgmental, could be very cold with the king of swords, but they worry a lot. They could be standing on solid ground. Maybe in the past they lacked structure. They weren't organized. This king of pentacles as they thought they were. They could have had this attitude like they think above others. But that could have been a limiting belief. Whoo, child. 
this person thought they, they were a know-it-all, but, you know, they had to learn some lessons about their limiting beliefs here. I feel like they may want security or a long life of luxury with the king of pentacles and the devil energy. They could have been very narrow-minded. This could be two kings here as well that's after you or the both of you could be in this masculine energy even it's a feminine and mass uh a feminine and masculine uh combination the both of you may be very strong uh wanting to lead the way as well and there needs to come to some type of balance with a truthful conversation the both of you may be very drawn to each other it's like it's like taboo maybe for some of you, this person may feel like you bring out some type of darkness within them, maybe to face. But both of you may feel like you bring out the darkness within each other. So there's a need to act detached and cold. Or they have to act detached and cold to really re review what they have or to prepare. It's like they have to like shut you out to bill hair or something. This is weird. I hope you guys, it's resonating with you all. If you are, go on big up yourself in the comment box. It just feels like this person wants to be on solid ground to be able to live up to your expectation for this soulful connection. But they also want to be at peace. And I feel like at times they may feel like a know-it-all or think that their way is the best way. But it, they may be coming to the analyzation or the realization that it's limiting beliefs here because of society norms. It's not growing. They're reviewing what they have thus far by living by these concepts or by these values. And they're seeing like it's limiting them. So they could feel like their ego or they misuse a lot of opportunities. Opportunities they may have because of these dark forces. They could have some magic, dark magic that's going on too as well. Maybe somebody was lying here about a commitment or they were committed to a lot of things that uh, is not connected to their spirit. That could be a big possibility here. And they're needing to come to a final decision with the King of Swords energy. But they have ambition for a new stable or solid start here with the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, this King of Swords, though. <laughs> Yeah, so overall, they're looking for abundance, security. They may want a long life of luxury. They value traditions as well. So you're dealing with somebody that likes routine. They like things in a specific place. I said that with the inner peace. Everything should be in place. So when they don't have precise direction or clear direction, they tend to uh, be guarded or could be a coward as well so it's like their heart and soul is telling them something but they're worried about going in the wrong direction it's like they're not really trusting they have trust issues when it comes to themselves even though it's strong they're still held back from a lot of regrets that they did could have a lot of things to do with the law or just getting in things with people that didn't mean well so they needed to come to a place of solid grounds or stability within themselves they're still struggling with a lot of limiting values or beliefs. It's like they're no, some things are not good for them and they're struggling to come to a final decision about that, those things or those people. So, you know, they may like to, to party and they feel guilty or in some way, or I don't know, they flip flop a lot here, you know, but they could feel like they're smarter than people with the double king of swords energy. But then when you look at what they have, it's like for someone that acts like you're smarter and you're wiser, you're more experienced, look at what the fuck you have. Seven of Pentacles, you know, for all of that gab, where is the, where's the results? So this may be playing on their mind and they may be feeling like you may be the missing link. Your expectations of love may be what they need to be in this Three of Pentacles energy. They may have a lot of third party situations. They may be tempted very easily because they may have like a stimulating sex drive. This is a lot of male energy. Uh, they're very obsessed with sex or the opposite sex or something to that effect. Something to do with child support or uh, paternity tests. Together meets forever. So I feel like they, 
They look at you as destiny. They have to be really cool about their decisions is what I heard. Heart awaken. You're in my dream. So this person is very fond of you. <laughs> they know that you're supposed to work with them. And I feel like they have the skills, they have the tools, but with your expertise or with your love, you know, undestructible love. So there was a lot of pipe dreams that they regret. A lot of false starts. They could have been giving you a lot of false starts. You could feel like this person is wasting your time because you're waiting here in the expectation card or vice versa. And you may feel like... Um, this person is wasting your time or time waster or you're just bored or they may feel like you're getting bored and um, or they just feel like, I don't know, with what they believe in, they may feel like your love expectations are not realistic. Can we start over? Clean slate. The silence is killing me. So you guys may not be speaking and they may feel like you have made that final decision you may, they may feel like you have suffered enough what, through whatever this is and you became hopeless. This may be somebody's divine masculine or they're stepping into some type of divinity here. It's taking longer than I thought is in reverse. I definitely feel like this person is ready to strike. They're ready to take action. They're just tired of feeling this soulful connection. They're tired of these limiting beliefs and values that they're being caught up in. So they may have risked it where are you? So that's in reverse. So, you know, they may be tired of just wandering. I hurt myself when I walked away. Yeah. So this person may have been tempted to walk away from you, end up in a third party situation that was not of uh, their highest good. They now had to go through a final decision of cutting that away or a divorce, or they may have ended some type of commitment that they had could be to an institution could be to a religion, a certain type of ethnic code. And it's like, I'm tired of wondering where you are. Let's just bring this together. Let me just work with you. Let me just bring you home and do all the work. And you just sit there waiting for me at the window when I get off of work. <laughs> because listen, I hurt myself when I walked away from this. You know, I felt it. I knew what it was. But because of my upbringing, because of society norms and my routine, I just couldn't make the decision fast enough for you. But listen, I feel like I'm on solid ground right now. I'm very firm with this King of Swords double energy. I already reviewed this shit hundreds of times. And I feel like for me to be who I need to be is with you. So let's see. I've been misused. What the fuck you want my heart for? So yeah, this person is still uh, caught up with the regrets. They're, you made them confused in the past with your love expectations. And you may have unknowingly pushed this on them. You may have hold them at a certain type of standard as well. And they could, they were confused. Like, what the fuck you seen in me? Like, I'm this big uh, monster that's very tempted and very sexually obsessed. So what? what? So, you know, you may have showing them love and it's after you guys separated or not talking they figured it out they figured out that they keep hurting themselves take it or leave it your expectation threatens my reputation see it right there so whatever your expectation they feel like it was a waste of time they may have been very bored with it because it was not drama filled it did not carry any type of unhealthy um routine to it and that may have caused them to be like confused it physically hurts i can't be closer to you i'm missing you so it's a case of you don't know what you have until uh it's not there anymore you never miss the water until the well runs dry so you may have been a routine in this person's life and when that routine broke they kind of like wow i was living my best life i was my best self with this person but I was so easily tempted by the opposite sex or things that uh, uh, that's a trigger to my uh, emotions or my ego that I couldn't see. You know, I kept myself in a very unhealthy routine here as well. So it says recharge your bullet. So some of you may have manifest this through uh, self-pleasure as well 
or you know your sex may have turned into love with this person but somebody was very dissatisfied with not getting physical pleasures hey so this may be a reason why this person was very tempted in third parties because they need physical touch they need to be physical with you allow yourself to be vulnerable they did not want to be vulnerable again they were very cold think they knew it all think they saw it all relax my darling let me show you what i could do when i take it slow so this person may be wanting some type of slow sex or they want you to agree with moving slowly here uh if they do come back in contact or you come back in contact if you the both of you come back in contact because they hurt themselves when they walk away so their ego may be kind of like keeping them away from you but the love is pulling them all right they may have you know thinking about what they did to you may have me push them back as well i might sound selfish but i want the both of you third party relations so they may be married to someone that they're going to counseling with turtle time let's dance this person wants the companion, the friendship back. All right. So you may know this person was committed to someone else. You may know that they're committed to a certain way of living. I feel like this person may be on the go a lot or they may be, you know, at the club scenes or something where they're very sociable a lot. And they have like talents and skills that contribute to that. It may be some type of career. And, you know, they just want to have fun and take it slow. All right. Your expectation is threatening this person's reputation. So maybe what they're into, they have to look um, like a socialite. Maybe they're married to someone that they don't really love. But again, it's for status. It's to um it's to appeal to this life of luxury and the desire of security now it doesn't have to be a person it could be just the, the morals and the values that they're very solid in you get what i'm saying desperate to prove myself personal demons living up to the living up to others demands and opinions that have little to do with your interests. So this person may be living that type of life. And it's a final decision that they have to make. With the King of Swords energy, they're worried, actually. They're worried. They want to look cold and aloof and know it all and think they're uh, the smartest of them all. This could be a judge or this is someone that has um, a lot of judgmental thoughts or uh, judgmental it's like they're very judgmental, but the things that they say, the people around them may resonate because they themselves may be very limited. So this person may be the head of their group. I feel like they talk really loud when um, they want to be intimidating. So they could be very intimidating when they speak loud or the, the vocabulary that they use. But it's with the people around them. Very interesting. So uh, I hope that you guys got some type of uh, information out of that. I feel like this person is very skilled or they're very good at what they do. They may have two or more businesses, but they have a lot of uh, codependency that they're trying to like make a very firm decision about, but they're taking their time and they would like you to see that part of them. So this person may want their cake and eat it too. We did see that with, it may sound selfish, but I want both of you. And that could also mean they want both worlds. They want to be able to do what they're doing and still have your love to come home to. I feel like they want you to wait and anticipate on them. It's like they want you to trust them that they're out, out there doing what they need to do for the both of you. But then they're very tempted as a routine. It's a routine for them to be very tempted in this like life of lust or I don't know. They're very shallow and they may be very tempted easily by shallowness. Huh? Yeah. But it's like, I'm, I'm providing you this security. This person may be trying to move away from a lot of regrets. I feel like they're very guilty here as well with the five of cups. It's like, they're wanting to move away from that. But they feel like they could do it with you, but they want both worlds. So take it how it resonates. They may be feeling very powerful as well. So whatever they have going on, it makes them feel very powerful, but it could be very shallow. All right. And this deep soul connection is like pushing them to 
want to make a decision for what's best for both of you or what's balanced to have you in their life. So if you did resonate with that, go and big up yourself in the comment box below. Another channel message up next. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.